Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Eric can't put a ring on it because Sloan won't let him. Eric Brady's unimpressive suggestion was flatly rejected. In the Days of Our Lives recap for August 3, 2023, Sloan was incensed by Eric's impolite attempt to court her for marriage. Highlights of the Days of Our Lives recap Additionally, Melinda revealed her new best friend's secret, Eve Donovan extended mercy and hope to Harris, and Melinda displayed a walking red flag, Roman expresses his thoughts, and Chad DeMero warns Alex. Let's now delve a little more into what actually occurred. I need love. Sloan graciously accepted Eric's earnest apology for appearing to berate her for obtaining Nichols' test results. The two then talked about Roman's apparent dismay after learning that Sloan was expecting a child. Eric was adamant that his father would change. He'll realize how happy Sloan makes him and what a fantastic person she is once he does, of course. Discover the upcoming events on Days of Our Lives. Sloane gushed that she had improved and hoped that Roman would, at the very least, become a little more accepting of her. After all, the only true family their child will have is Eric's family. Eric bragged that baby Brady will have all of Salem behind him in response dot, and that sent Sloane into shock. Who mentioned the infant having his last name, if anyone? Why couldn't one of her two last names be used instead? Why? Why? Eric would be happy, so that's why. He genuinely values having that name, and he wants his child to share it with him or her. He also wouldn't mind Sloane having it. Perhaps they ought to wed. How does Sloane respond? Ha, huh, ha. Huh. Will she eventually settle down? No, no way. What a dreadful, awful way to ask someone. Eric scowled. What more could she have wanted? Sloane huffed back. How about a little romance and love? Unknown secrets. Melinda offered to make it right after practically bumping into Nicole in the town square and caused her to drop her fried pickles and vanilla milkshake. No, not because she was a wonderful person, but rather because she was curious as to why Sloane came so close to confiding in her. With her guard down, Nicole revealed to Melinda that she and EJ had undergone DNA testing, as well as Sloane accidentally obtaining the results. After Nicole left, Melinda murmured to herself, Accident, my ass. Old enemies reconcile. Harris was shocked to see Eve Donovan, the former teen hooker he'd so terribly mistreated during their high school days, when he had finally settled into Bayview thanks to Marlena. Harris sincerely apologized for how he had treated her, lamenting the fact that he had wasted his youth hooking around with women in order to impress his dinwitted pals. He regrets having used her. Several regrets. For her part, Eve handled everything calmly. She had endured far more in the years afterwards, and she had previously exacted revenge on Harris and his gang. It emerged out that she specialized in vengeance and that this was what had originally gotten her imprisoned at Bayview. Eve and Harris sat down and discussed their rocky pasts because they didn't have much else to do and had nothing to lose. He described how Megan brainwashed him to kill and then kill again. She revealed that she tried to get Ben Weston to kill Ciara. Fortunately, she has realized what she did was incorrect. Absolutely wrong. And thankfully for Eve, she has tremendous intentions and will soon be eligible for release. Plans include returning to music and traveling to the West Coast. Harris encouraged her. Harris' spirits were then raised by Eve as much as she could. Show yourself. Chad called Alex a devious son of a bitch after hearing some advice from Big Brother EJ. When in doubt, ask yourself, WWSD. He forewarned that Stephanie would never respond favorably to Alex's affable, nice guy antics. Never. Chad growled that he was done acting polite since he had discovered his love rival. The message was clearly understood by Alex, maybe. Meanwhile, Kate made an effort to put things in perspective, after observing Roman's irritability and concluding that a pregnant Sloan was the sole cause of it. On the one hand, she can sympathize with Roman's decision to not put her faith in Eric's baby mama, 
a term Kate despises. However, a bigger contingent would question Kate's character in the same way that Roman does Sloane's. Kate also has a confession to make. She tried to get Harris to beat Megan. And Kayla knew exactly what she was doing. In retrospect, of course. Does Roman consider her to be a monster? He does not, in fact. However, perhaps the next time, she should consult him first before attempting to carry out a hit. Sloane's digs. Sloane and Eric are talking about her pregnancy. She is concerned about Roman's response to having a child with the local pariah. Eric reluctantly acknowledges Roman's opposition to them becoming a pair. He does, however, think that his father will eventually change his mind. Sloane wishes Eric's family well because their unborn child will only have his family to rely on. Sloane is perplexed as to why Eric expects the child will adopt his name since he refers to baby Brady as a nickname. They are not married, according to Sloane, and the child may have either of their names. Eric, a traditionalist, quickly advises that they get married. Sloane seemed genuinely taken aback by the marriage discussion. Before the baby is born, he wants their relationship to be formally established. He asks, What do you think, in an offhand manner? Kate and Roman discuss Sloane's pregnancy at the Brady Pub. She is still far more enthusiastic about the auspicious occasion than he is. Roman claims he is extremely delighted for Eric, but is unhappy with his choice of the mother for the child. Kate makes the obvious argument that everyone must have the same opinion of their relationship with him. Roman claims that they have moved over their problems and is happy that they are now being open with one another. Kate admits that she has one secret. She has asked Harris Michaels to murder a person. Roman believes that Stefan was her intended victim, but she insists that Megan Hathaway was her objective. All's well that ends well, according to Kate, because it didn't materialize. She claims Kayla prodded her to tell him after Kate told her. Roman is both irritated and amused by the circumstance. Roman claims to love Kate without conditions and to have pardoned her homicidal schemes. What is a small murder for hire in Salomon Tale? Then Marlena shows up. About Abe, Kate questions Marlena. She has been at Bayview, therefore she lacks an update. If Harris is one of her patients, Kate wonders. Harris is where he needs to be, according to Marlena, who recalls Hey IPPA. Nicole and Melinda come together at Horton Square. Nicole gave up on her craving for pregnancy, which caused Melinda to remember her chats with Sloane. Nicole accepts Melinda's offer to bring her more food, perhaps so she may interview Nicole. While Nicole is enjoying her pregnant pickles, Melinda returns and brings up Sloane. They are both expecting so she questions if there is something in the water in Salem. Nicole is irritated by Melinda's suggestion that they talk about Sloane and Eric. She scoffs and says she doesn't care about them, citing the favorable findings of her most recent genetic tests. Melinda starts to probe and finds that Sloane also underwent DNA testing. Nicole also reveals that Sloane obtained her test results. After saying this, Nicole makes the decision to go home leaving Melinda to wonder what Sloane is doing. Marlena is giving Harris a tour of Aview. He feels a little uneasy at his new residence. When he feels at ease, she believes everything will improve. Harris is eager to start therapy. From behind a plant, a mysterious figure is keeping watch over them. Eve Donovan suddenly emerges as Marlena walks away. They both show amazement at one another's presence. Eve claims that the reason she is there is because she erupted in wrath. Harris then claims that Megan, Stefano's daughter, manipulated him into killing a few individuals. She makes fun of Salem and snaps at him over their high school days. Harris apologizes for his treatment of her in high school before she can leave. According to Harris, he was so preoccupied with hooking up with girls that he failed to consider the feelings of others. Eve disregards it since she assumes he was probably looking to hook up with a prostitute. She believes that by reminding him to have Harris and his buddies arrested, she gave as good as she received. As Harris and Eve take a seat, Eve goes into detail about how a previous serial killer named Ben Weston was brainwashed into killing Shara. She goes into further detail about how her daughter Paige's murder served as the catalyst. 
She has also put a lot of effort into improving herself and is now in a better place.